<clears throat> we've been uh, at least we we had a producer who said he was trying to get Christine Brennan on, but as I found out later, he wasn't doing that. Uh, but anyway, he's no longer our producer, and Christine Brennan uh, joins us from USA Today right now. Christine, thanks for joining us. How are you today? Kevin, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It's great to be on with you. Okay, well, let's let's get right into the Penn State situation because you you wrote a column and you spoke on a radio show, as as I recall, the day after the free report came out. For our listeners, go ahead and summarize your position of Joe Paterno and his role. Yeah, it's a very sad story. I don't have to tell you that. You're a Penn State alum, is that correct? Kevin, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just you're, a, you're. I was saying it's a very sad situation. You're, you're a Penn State alum, is that correct? No, that's not correct. I'm not a Penn oh, State alum. Don't have any. Don't have any ties to Penn State whatsoever. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. There was someone emailing me who said that you were involved with the school. Anyway, I, or had, had some. Anyway, whatever. Um, but I, I, it's an incredibly sad, tragic uh, story. Um, just uh, you know, for someone who grew up in Big Ten country, who always admired Penn State even before they were in the Big Ten uh, as a girl growing up in Ohio, uh, it is. There's no joy in any of this. Um, that free report is is so devastating and and um, it's just stunning in its volume. Uh, in what it says, you know that, your listeners know that. Um, and uh, my take simply was, uh, I, I mean, there's so many ways to go with this, as, as you know, but I, I, I guess on Joe Paterno, which is a key part of the whole conversation, and I'm sure what a lot of Penn State people, of course, do want to talk about, how Paterno's been treated and looked at and discussed and his legacy and what have you. Uh, to me, it very simply is the case of we have found out that Joe Paterno um, with through all the emails and the information that was was given, in, you know, in the free report, uh, we you know, found out that Joe Paterno was the uh, willing enabler of a child rapist uh, in his locker room for years, and that is devastating and it's tragic and it's um, it's very sad. So at least that's a couple thoughts off the top of my head. Okay, um, you, you said that me and our listeners understand how devastating the free report was. I, I assume you read the entire free report. I did. I've read it a couple times, yes. What in the world did you find in there that would ever support what you just said? That A, it was devastating to Joe Paterno, and B, that you came to the conclusion that he's a willing enabler of a child pedophile. What in that free report says anything about Joe Paterno that even comes close to that? We're all the emails, as far as I know. Joe has been told this. Coach knows this. Coach wants us to fi- uh, follow up uh, the 1998 email. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me stop you as you go. Let me stop you as you go, because there are only sure. three emails in this entire report that mention Joe Paterno. So which email are you talking about? Well, I'm not looking at the report right now, but I believe it was 1998 about Coach uh, wants us to follow up on this or wants to be informed, right? Is, am I wrong on that or not? Uh, well, who's coach? Is that is that Jerry Sandusky or is that Joe Paterno? Because in every email that Tim Curley wrote regarding Joe Paterno, he referred to him as Joe. In this particular one, uh, the person they're referring to is coach. It is a it is quite a leap to think that this is Joe Paterno, and that's the conclusion with no evidence whatsoever that the free report comes to. But I want to know what evidence is there a that that's Joe Paterno. And B, if it is Joe Paterno, and he's asking, what's the latest, what's wrong with that? Uh, well, and again, I, I totally respect your point of view. I mean, I, I, we, obviously, I, I take the free report as a very serious document that we can base a lot on. And if one doesn't, do? then obviously, sure. You do? Well, how, how, do you, how do you think the free report is something serious? They did not speak to any of the principals involved, with the exception of Graham Spanier, and they spoke to him four days before they issued the report and didn't include much in there about him. How can that be a conclusive report when Tim Curley, Gary Schultz, Joe Paterno, Jerry Sandusky, none of which were interviewed by the Free Committee, and by the way, I'm sure you're aware of what, what took place with the Free Report in the FIFA case where he, he indicted a guy for supposedly illegal behavior and it was overturned by a Swiss court. They paid no heed to the Free Report, saying it had no evidence with which to draw the conclusions that they drew. And I, I would submit that the free report, and I'm a lawyer, I would submit that the free report is just as error-worthy and just as ridiculously filled with inaccurate conclusions based on no evidence to back them up. 
Well, I, I, our email is evidence. I think that that's not no evidence. Um, well, which email? To, again, 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 which email? An email well, that again, refers to coach. Okay, if, if, I, I thought we were going to have a conversation. If you want me to spend a little time here looking for the actual emails in the free report, I'm happy to do that. Um, let's go to well, something that I think well, is... Uh, well, let me, let me just, I mean, let, not, okay, honestly, let, let me lay the ground rules here so, for you. Christine, Christine, hold on, let me lay the ground rules for you. You're not a novice at this. You're a, you're a columnist for the USA Today. You've been interviewed everywhere around the country. If you thought, when I said I wanted you to come on and talk about Penn State in the free report, <clears throat> if you thought that you shouldn't have the free report in front of you, you probably shouldn't make the statements that you make about Joe Paterno if you didn't have a working knowledge of the free report. Well, your emails to me, Kevin, never mentioned the free report. I, but as I said, I am happy now to go to it and look these up if you'd like. I, I'm, I'm happy Please to do, do. that. I also, Please do. Okay. Well, I have a few other thoughts while, while I'm leaking through. It's going to take me a few minutes. And, and now you That's do right. have to tell, Kevin, you do have to tell your listeners you never mentioned the free report in any emails to me today. Did you? Yesterday or today? The free, I'll try to look those up, too. So well, my, we my, my, pro- my, producer, my producers say they did. I followed up with an email t- asking you to talk about Penn State. My producer uh, said they sent you an email regarding the free report and Penn State. So today? I don't know about that. No, not today. About, about a month and a half ago, right after the free report came out. Well, what we're now discussing, and I'm happy to discuss it with you, Kevin, and, and, and I totally will talk about this as long as you want. What you were just saying to me was that how dare I not be ready to discuss the free report. This is the first time ever, and you have to acknowledge it with your emails today, and I was you know, very kind to, to give you time, and you were very kind to give me time. There was never mention of the free report, and as you have now acknowledged when you first introduced me that those producers didn't reach me, you know that. Uh, I never heard from your show. No, no, no. You, let, let me back up. You told me they didn't reach you. They said they did, but that is here right, nor there. Right. You're trying. You're well, trying to play hide the ball here because you no, came not, out and no. you said, "No, wait a minute, wait a minute." In your opening statements on this show today, you mm-hmm. quoted the free report as being devastating to Joe Paterno, and Absolutely. that I and all of my listeners understand that. So you brought up the free report, not me. Right. Well. And, and I will get back to you. Um, may I also make a couple other points that I think will continue to buttress my argument? Let's go to the grand Please jury. Please do. I'm, I'm anxious to hear how your argument is going to be buttressed because so far you have nothing. Well, thank you. Thank you. And I, I, I really appreciate it. You're your welcome. Respect. I, I am showing you nothing but respect, sir. And uh, as you know, I you're am showing, to be You're on showing show. Joe Paterno absolutely okay. zero respect. Zero. You have nothing. You have nothing factual to back up a statement that you referred to a man as a willing child molesting enabler. That's what you called him. Then give me some facts to back it up. Fact one. Just give me fact one. Okay. First of all, you need to calm down because... No, I don't need to calm down. You need to give me some facts. You need to give me some facts. I don't like people that come on my show and lie like you're doing right now. Give me some facts. Why? Why? Okay, um, do you want to go to a commercial? Because it's going to take me a while to go through the entire report to get to those emails. Or do you really? Well, let me tell you where they are. Let, 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 okay. me, let, me, let me tell you. Let me I'm tell you. Uh, which, which email are you looking for? I'm looking for all the emails that refer to Joe Paterno. And as I said, I am happy to look for them. It has been a month or so since I've looked at the free report. So I am looking now. I'm going through. I'm on page all right, so you want to talk about the coach. You want to talk about coach, right? Coach, exactly, which I, I think... All right, go to, page, a, go to page 48. Go to page 48. 48. And I do have a lot of thoughts about Penn State that I thought we were going to be talking about, but I will be happy to be discussing the minutia of this and as long as you'd like. And I'm glad I'll be happy to let you little. talk about Penn State. I'll be happy to let you talk about Penn State, but let's get through the slandering comments that you've made about Joe Paterno first. So, you and I will agree to disagree on this because, obviously, I, I'm on your radio show now, Kevin, but think about this logically. I have already put my opinion many times out in, in two million newspapers in the USA Today. So you're not going to change my mind. So we can keep beating this, uh, beating this as much I as you want. You I, I'm not out to change your mind. You I'm not out to change your mind. Well, then why I'm, we out talk to see, about other I'm out to issues. see if you have one fact, one fact to back up coach. that slanderous yeah. statement that you made. The email, the coach. 
the coach wants to know. The coach knew. He knew in 98. He knew in 01. Again, if you want, I'm going, I'm going down to page 48, but I'm also trying to talk to you and listen to you and be respectful of your show and uh, answer your questions. So, yes. Well, give, give, me, all right, give me any evidence that Joe Paterno, I, from the free report, give me every, any evidence that Joe Paterno knew anything about 1998 and who told him. That uh, I'm looking, and it, again, you want to, I mean, I, if you want, I have to spend a little time here looking back to this email, because you, as you well know, you did not tell me we were going to be going uh, line by line on the free report. Well, but you're the one who made that. the statement. You're the one yes, who made the statement lied. about Joe Paterno, and if I made a statement like that about anybody, guess what? I would know I, on the tip of my tongue what facts I use to make such a horrible statement about someone. And I'm here telling report. you that it's the, the email report. refers to... I know. Well, the free, the free report. The, if you know it so well, how come you can't quote it? I told you it's been a month since I looked at it. I was reading it again at the Olympics. If you wanted me to be the... I mean, I am not an expert... I'm, I am not an expert on the free report. I will go back and do the research if you want me to. Maybe we, I come back on Monday. We well, let, an hour let, or two let, on let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. If you're not an expert on the free report, why did you start this interview by saying that I and my listeners know that the free report is what damned Joe Paterno and is, as you came to the conclusion that he's a willing enabler of a child pedophile? If you're there not an expert on that, if you're not an expert on that report, how I'll can you it. dare say such things? you want me to answer your question or you want to keep yelling? I, I would love you to answer that question. Okay, I'll answer it now. Being an expert and being knowledgeable are two entirely separate things. What you are asking Well, you don't now, sound Kevin, very knowledgeable either. You don't sound very Kevin, knowledgeable either. Because I, I've got it online. I am trying to talk to you and listen to you and also look this up. I have now said two or three times, and your producer could tell you this, the producer who probably, you know, obviously wasn't the one that was saying we're spending they were too much time were. talking about producers. Let's talk about what's in the free report. You've you said, you said you've producers. got it up in front of you right now. I gave I, you the page no, number, I'm, for I'm, goodness sakes. I am talking. I am trying to look at and talk to you. Uh, again, if you want to keep this up, this is a, such a wasted opportunity. Here, let let me quote it for you, okay? Out. I'll quote it for you. I'll quote it for you since you can't seem to find it. Coach is anxious to know you, where Kevin. it stands. Coach is anxious to know where it stands. Tell me what that says. <laughs> that says it. Coach is, uh, says uh, what? Joe Paterno. Okay, because who says, who me, says coach is Joe Paterno? May, Kevin, may I read this and speak l- l- to you, or do you want l- to l- let, me, l- let me ask you this. Who was being investigated in 1998? May I read you? Now I'd like to answer. I have found the paragraph because I've been listening to you and also doing this and also trying to be very respectful of your show. Let read, away. read away. Read away. Read away. By May 5th, 1998, Schultz had communicated with Curley about the Sandusky incident. In an email from Curley to Schultz in Spaniard at 5.48 p.m., captioned Joe Paterno, captioned Joe Paterno, Curley reports, I have touched base with the coach. He first posted, thanks. And then you know that, of course, there was the other I've tu- I've, was- I've touched base with the coach. Why did he caption it Joe Paterno, Kevin? I don't know. Why don't you ask him? It makes logical sense that the coach here is Jerry Sandusky, who wants to know where the investigation is going. It's his life that's at stake, not Joe Why Paterno's. Joe and Joe Paterno, Paterno well, well, you maybe you should ask Tim Curley that. Well, I, I'm sure I'm going to get an interview with him and Curley. Uh, so again, if you well, that's the whole. You're making my case for me. You're making my. You're making my case for me. None of these people were interviewed, and thus the free report is a laughing stock. You don't have an. In, you don't have a report that, in, that 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 actually, in my opinion, criminally indicts people when you haven't even spoken to them. There is no evidence that Coach is Joe Paterno. None whatsoever. In you fact, know, the evidence suggests that every time Tim Curley, I, I doubt that you've read the report. First of all, I doubt that you've read the entire report because if you okay, did, you know seven. that every time Tim Curley referred to Joe Paterno, he called him Joe. Are you aware of that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that, so why all of a sudden? So then, then, then why all of a sudden? No, no, no. Wait a minute. So why all of a sudden? All of a sudden, you jump to the conclusion. I'm talking. I'm talking now. I'm talking. Don't talk over me. I won't talk over you. I won't talk over you. So why did all of a sudden Tim Curley change Tabit in one email and refer to Joe Paterno as coach? And why did he eat with the caption, Joe Paterno? So, boy, we've got questions for each other, don't we? Why don't you ask him? 
Why don't you ask him? Are, are you trying to tell me? Are you trying to tell me that you base a conclusion of someone being a willing enabler of a child molester based on that? And I'm ready to tell you more if you'll let me. Please do. The grand, jury, the grand jury report, which I don't know, maybe you think that's awful, too. Um, the grand, most people, by the way, in the country take this all as uh, face value. You are far out of step with the nation, but that's okay. You're the I, I couldn't radio. care. You, you mean I'm out of step with morons? I'll be happy to be out of step with morons. 99.9% who've never read the free report. I'll be happy to be out of step with them. I've read it, I've read it twice. I have not committed to memory. Like You're struggling you. with it, but you've read it twice. But go ahead. I've read it twice because I live my life, Kevin. I, I've got it on my... Aren't you impressed with how quickly I got it on my computer? I'm you don't seem to be doing too well with it, but go ahead. Well, because I've been talking to you and listening to you on your radio show. I've never had a radio show in the probably thousands I've done... Just wanted me to read from something that everyone else can read from, but go ahead. If this is that's radio, that's because certain, that's I'm because you're finally on a real radio show. That's because oh, you're finally yeah. on a real radio show that doesn't accept Louis Freeze bullcrap as truth. Now, maybe that's why. To the grand jury, what do you do, Kevin? Kevin, what? Tell me your grand you jury. Do? Give me your grand jury story. Go ahead. Give me your I'm, grand jury I'm story. Trying to, if you wouldn't keep interrupting. Um, I'm not interrupting at all. I'm telling you, give it to me. I am giving it to you. So what would you do, Kevin, with this story? So, as you know, uh, Joe Paterno told the grand jury that McQuarrie came over, and McQuarrie told him, too. You know the story. And you know that Joe Paterno knew about what had happened in that shower, and he understood what it was, and he did the, the most minimal really? thing anyone could do. And Wait a minute. Let's stop, stop, stop right here. Let's stop right here. What did McQuarrie tell Paterno that happened that night? Go ahead. He, he said that he had seen uh, Sandusky in the showers with the boy. That wouldn't be alarming enough. <laughs> Why would that be alarming? Oh, it, it, Men every, every, hey, every, I got news for you. Guy, guys, guys who work shower? out, guys who work out, jump in the shower all the time, unless he saw something boy? happening. But Unless he saw are, something happening. You're, you're well, where else should the boy shower? Case. Should the boy shower outside? What about no, that the, statement? What about that statement is Joe Paterno's fault? Everything. Everything. Because really? he didn't think really? of the boy. He let that boy be unprotected, and he never gave it another thought. And that is Joe Paterno, terrible. wait a minute. Let me stop you. Let me stop you. That's the most so asinine why, comment I've ever heard. Wh- Joe Paterno, let me why tell you what Joe Paterno company? did with that information, all right? Just because apparently you don't know. So I'm going to inform you of something here. Here's what Joe Paterno did with that information. He took it to his two bosses, one of which oversees the university police. Now, well, you Joe tell Paterno me, you tell me, me, because I'll tell you, I'll tell you what a lawyer would tell Joe Paterno. You've reported it. That's it. You now shut your mouth the rest of the way, and you do nothing because you are now a witness in this case. And anything else you say can taint the investigation. And that's what any lawyer worth his salt would have told Joe Paterno. Joe Paterno did what he was supposed to do. By the way, he did more by reporting it than the investigators, including the district attorney, including the attorney general, now the governor, including the Second Mile Foundation, including the psychologist, including the police did in 1998. So that's what uh, Joe Paterno did. So how dare you, how dare you say that Joe Paterno did nothing? That's a lie, and you know it. No, I I said he he told one person and he didn't do another darn thing, and that alone is an absolute tragedy, and you're in defense of him. Tell me what he should have done. By the way, you're lying still because he told two people, but you're still lying. But go ahead and tell me, after he told the, the campus police chief and his boss, who should he have called, Corky the Clown? How about how about call the police? How about call Sandusky? How about have Sandusky? He told the chief of police. He told the chief of police. He doesn't have any authority over Jerry. Why should he call Sandusky? He has no authority over Jerry Sandusky. Kevin, are you really telling me with a straight face that the chief of police is more important in the state of Pennsylvania on a Penn State campus? And the great Joe Paterno, that is laughable. You really Let me tell you what's laughable. Let me tell you what's laughable. What's laughable is that you don't know that Joe Paterno told Gary Schultz, who oversees the the entire police department. That's what's laughable, is that you don't know that, apparently. How do you know? So he told the police. He told the police. That's an that's an idiotic argument because he told the police. He also told his boss. 
No, no, no. Now, he's again, put, you want him to go tell Sandusky. Again. You want he him to go tell him. Sandusky? Are you, are, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you trying to make me laugh? You want well, Joe Paterno to call that's Jerry Sandusky. Let me ask you this. What would that conversation, what would that conversation be with Jerry Sandusky? No, no, hold on. You just you like to talk over people. What would the conversation take place? You just said Paterno should have called Jerry Sandusky. What should he have said to him? You you didn't hear me correctly. What I said was he needed to get him out of that of the Penn State, out of the locker room, get him gone. Huh? And how's he going to do that? How's he going to do that? How's he going to do that when when Jerry Sandusky has been granted emeritus status by the administration at Penn State? How's Joe Paterno going to pull that off? Are you actually telling me, Kevin, that Joe Paterno wasn't the most powerful person or one of the most powerful people in Pennsylvania? That is laughable. He was. You think it is? Well, let me let me show you how laughable that comment you just made is. Did Joe Paterno? Let me let me. So let me let hold it hold it. Don't don't talk when I'm answering your question. I'm answering your question. Have have one ounce of manners. You think you can railroad people because you work for USA Today, but you can't. Have an ounce of manners that when you say something, you give the other person a chance to respond, just as I do you. Turn her down. Turn her down. Just turn her down. Let, let me make it clear to you so that you understand. If you think Joe Paterno was the most powerful person in Pennsylvania, which people like you seem to keep relying on, you answer me this question, okay? Did Joe Paterno resign or was he fired? 